Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Head Start Lab series Volume 5 on Music Production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that gets you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And all these videos were made from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real professional studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring sessions while in the program. Let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone? Eddie Martinez here with Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome to the Head Start Lab series. Now in this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be learning how to go ahead and change the tempo of a piece of music without affecting its pitch. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that right now. Now the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you have a piece of audio that you wanna modify. In this case, I have Phoenix is trying to be cool, the Chainsmokers remix. Now I'm only gonna use the intro just for the uh, simple purpose of this video, but of course if you brought in a large MP3, a full song, four or five minutes or however long it is, it'll uh, this uh, little trick right here will work for it anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and check the BPM of this uh, piece of audio so that you know where you want to change it to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump to our BPM counter which I already have pulled up. Uh, if I didn't all I would do would uh, all I would do is simply go to our metering and go to BPM counter and go to stereo. I've already analyzed this in the past so it, it let me know that the BPM is 128 but let's go ahead and hear how uh, or see how this thing analyzes anyways. Let's go ahead and bring this back up and we're going to hit play and it's going to analyze uh, right before our eyes. So we have a pretty good understanding that the BPM is 128 and the way this actually works, I'm going to double click on this uh, or you can uh, simply just uh, uh, double click or hit this uh, button right here to bring up our editor. Now essentially what the, uh, the BPM counter does, it reads all the transients and from there it analyzes exactly what the BPM is just so that you know how this BPM counter is working. Now the very next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go you're going to want to go ahead and go to flex time and and when you go to flex time you're going to want to go ahead and select polyphonic. Now once you select polyphonic, it'll essentially analyze all the transients again and uh, leave all these markers here. Now these markers are movable, but we're going to want to go ahead and keep them as is. We're not going to want to move them at all. Once, once you have this done, essentially it'll analyze the entire song, which could take up to about a minute, usually a lot less depending on how quick your computer is. And from there, now you can just simply change the BPM by moving this up or down. Uh, so you can change the tempo. So let's go ahead and um, we'll hear the song one more time and, and then we'll start messing around with uh, changing the tempo on this. So we'll hear it one more, once more, let's go. All right, cool. Uh, so we, we have a good understanding of how it sounds. Let's go ahead and drop this down to 120. We'll hear it again, and of course this time, uh, it'll play again a little bit slower, but without affecting its pitch. Now let's try this once more. We'll move this to BPM 140, speed it up, and hear how it sounds. All right, guys, so as you guys can tell, there's actually a couple uses for this tool right here or this technique. Uh, you guys can use it for creating your own samples, maybe find a piece of music that you like that you want to incorporate into your own music, change it so that the BPM uh, fits your music and the pitch is obviously not affected. That's one use. Another, another use you can use this for is for creating your own remixes. So what I want to know is, uh, you know, what are you guys going to be using this for? Go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'm Eddie Martinez, and I'll catch you guys later. 
Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.